Organism System of the Human Level Organisms. My name is Sarah Icaniza de Rivera and this is Anat and Physics 1, Chapter 1. Organization level of the body. First, we're going to start with of atoms and molecules. Those are considered to be the chemical level, which is the smaller levels of organization. With them, we're going to move up, move up with the organelle, then the cell, that the small unit for cell is life. Then we're going to go to a tissue, then to an organ, organ system, and organism. Right here, we have some examples of the organization levels. Organization of tissue. Cell. A cell is the basic pulling block of life between an organism. The tissue is formed from collection of cells that perform the same function. Right here, we have four types of tissue, the connective tissue, the muscle tissue, the epithelial tissue, and the nervous tissue. Organs. Organs are formed by different tissues that work together to perform function. The system are any organs working together to pr produce the same effect. Some organs may belong to more than one system. Organism. An organism is made up of many different systems are working together. The skeletal system. The skeletal system is made up of 206 different bones. The muscular system. There are over 600 muscles in our human body. The cardiovascular system. The tissue of the body requires a constant supply of blood. The lymphatic system. Has two main roles to drain excess tissue fluid and to fight infections. The nervous system. The nervous system consists of the brain's spinal cord and nerves. The endocrine system, female and male. The endocrine system consists of a number of glandular organs spread throughout the body. Respiratory system. The respiratory system main job is to move fresh air into your body while removing waste gases. The digestive system. The cells of the body require nutrients for energy. This is usually provided by food that needs to be breaking down into small molecules to allow to be used by the body. The role of the urinary system is to remove waste substance from the body. The intergumentary system consists of the skin along with accessory structures which use hairs, glands, and nerves. It helps control the body temperature and allows us to touch and feel objects around us. The reproductive system. The reproductive system function is to produce egg and sperm, to transport and sustain these cells, to nurture the developing offspring, and to produce hormones.